Hey guys, welcome to this awesome course on theory and technology of semiconductors. So guys, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the types of solids, semiconductor materials, periodic structures, crystal lattices, bulk crystal growth, starting materials and wafers. Whereas in this lecture, we will discuss about doping. In the last lesson, we discussed about this cycle. This is the bulk crystal growth cycle. In the starting, we are having the starting materials, that is silicon dioxide. Then we are having silicon crystal ingots. Then we get wafers. And I also told you that doping plays a very important role in changing the electronic property of that material. Doping can be done either at this stage or after we have got the wafers. So let's study what is doping. So friends, Doping is nothing but adding intentional impurities or dopants to change electronic properties. For example, in this image you can see a silicon atom. This is a n-type semiconductor, whereas this is a p-type semiconductor. Now what is the meaning of this n-type and this p-type? n-type denotes that this semiconductor is having extra electrons. Whereas p-type denotes that this semiconductor is having extra holes as compared to electrons. So if I want to form a p-type semiconductor, that means if I want to add holes in the semiconductor, I can do so by adding column 3 elements to that structure. Column 3 elements include boron, gallium, indium, aluminium. So earlier a silicon atom was present here so it was forming bonds with all the silicon atoms that is the four silicon atoms adjacent to it whereas now the silicon atom has been replaced by a boron atom so one hole has been created because boron is having just three electrons in the valence shell whereas silicon was having four electrons in the valence shell so this hole will change the electronic property of this material now let's discuss about n-type semiconductors. They are formed by the addition of column 5 elements into the semiconductor. For example, addition of phosphorus, addition of arsenic and addition of antimony. Let's take an example. Earlier, silicon was present here. In the outermost shell of silicon, 4 electrons are present. Whereas in the outermost shell of phosphorus, 5 electrons are present. That's why now we are having 1 extra electron. Therefore, it will also affect the electronic property of the material. Doping can change the electronic property of a material drastically, so proper calculations need to be done before doing doping. So friends, if you like this video and you want me to create some more videos like this, then please subscribe my channel, please like my video, suggest these videos to your friends also. Thank you friends, have a nice day.